Cook County Board President Todd Stroger wins a showdown today at the county board over a rollback of the sales tax increase. Opponents on that board fell short of overriding his veto of the rollback. The vote was 13 to 4. That was just one shy of the 14 that were needed to defeat the veto. Stroger had promised drastic cuts in the county's health care system if those commissioners did approve that sales tax rollback. ABC7 political reporter Charles Thomas joins us with more about today's showdown at the Cook County Board. Charles. Linda Allen, for the third time this year, President Todd Stroger has held his own against an overwhelming but still insufficient majority of Cook County board members who want to roll back last year's controversial sales tax increase. The tax has survived intact thanks to one commissioner's last-minute change of heart. As the meeting began, President Stroger pleaded with commissioners to maintain the county's one and three quarters of a cent sales tax rate. Stroger said to reduce it to one and a quarter cent would mean that public health clinics and perhaps two of the county's three hospitals would have to close. If we roll back that half a penny, they will close clinics. And most likely, the clinics will be in the most devastated areas economically that we have in our county. On July 21st, in a 12 to 3 vote with two commissioners absent, the board approved the rollback. And until this morning's meeting, the anti-tax majority was confident it had the 14 votes needed to override Stroger's veto. Then South Suburban Commissioner Deborah Sims, who switched to vote for the tax reduction in July, switched again and joined William Beavers, Jerry Butler, and Joseph Mario Marino to uphold the veto. I gave the president my word in the beginning, didn't I? You and I sat down and had that conversation. I gave him my word in the beginning, so if anybody should have been mad at me, it should have been the president. The reason that commissioners don't trust each other is because of what she has done today. Betrayed the taxpayers of Cook County, flipped on us when she said she was going to stay. I'm not going to judge her. She will be judged by the people of her district. It marked the third time commissioners had failed to override the president's veto of all or part of last year's sales tax increase that opponents say has affected retail sales on the county's borders. It's really a stunning uh, a vote. Um, we are very surprised. We really thought that we had all 14 commissioners on board. Stroger called the commissioner's three times failed push for a sales tax rollback dishonest, and politically motivated. I don't have to play politics. Uh, my goal is to make sure that we do what we're supposed to do. We have mandates. My job is to fulfill. Today's third upheld veto of a rollback ordinance may have killed the sales tax reduction movement for this year. In fact, Commissioner John Daly, the Finance Committee chairman, believes that is now the case. But Linda Allen, it will remain an issue in the race for Cook County Board President next year. Todd Stroger says he still believes he has a chance to win re-election. All right, Charles, thanks.